Hello and welcome you guys to this ice climber tutorial where I'm going to be showing you guys how to do the famous ice climbers zero to death desync combo. I'm also going to show you guys how to do some other desyncs and tricks with ice climbers as well so make sure you stick around till the end of the video. Other tutorials that I've seen people make on this topic have been kind of confusing and overly complicated so I wanted to make a tutorial that's just very easy to understand and simple for you guys with the inputs on screen and the combos in slow motion. So with that being said, let's get right into how to do it yourself. When you're first learning how to do this combo, it'll be a little bit easier if your opponent has some percentage. So we'll in set Incineroar to 10% to begin with. There are four main things you're going to be doing in the first loop of this combo. You'll start this loop with a down throw, and then right as Popo is about to slam the opponent into the ground, you want to hit to the side and the L button to roll with Nana. But as soon as you hit the roll, you instantly need to jump towards the opponent with a neutral air with Popo. If you don't input the neutral air, Nana will not roll. And then from there, press side B so Nana does the spin. This is the main loop of the combo, so you're going to want to practice this over and over in training mode. Once you have the loop down, try to repeat it by grabbing them at the end of Nana's spin and doing the same process over again. You'll want to start it on the opponent at one side of the stage, because if you're doing it properly, two loops of this combo should take you all the way to the other side of the stage. Some common issues you might run into while trying to learn the loop are if you can't get Nana to roll or both ice climbers. Um, accidentally roll. To fix this, make sure you're rolling at the right time, and also be sure to follow up the roll input with the jump neutral air. You'll also want to be careful with how much you're holding forward on the joystick during the combo, because sometimes you can get Nana out of the correct position and the opponent will fall out of her attack. Now let's look at the full combo with the opponent in 0% and how to finish it. To start the combo, I use a falling neutral air and instantly grab the opponent. From there, the loop begins. The one thing to remember with the inputs on screen is I'm not really showing that you need to be holding forward during most of the combo, but just remember, other than the times when you're inputting a neutral air or a down throw, you'll mostly want to be holding forwards and walking, not running, during the combo. When you finish the second loop, you'll want to grab the opponent, then hit the jump button to get Nana to do a full hop, and finally press forward and A so that Popo does a forward throw and Nana instantly spikes them. Of course, there's variations to this combo as well. You could choose to finish it off with up airs instead of a spike. Or, if you end up grabbing the opponent while they're in the middle of the stage, you can actually use a pivot grab to reverse the loop. You'll just want to make sure that you're dashing instead of walking if you want to get all the way in front of them during the spin attack so that you can get a pivot grab. And honestly, this is only the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with a grab desync. Uh, I know a lot of other players who are better than me can do some amazing things with footstools and jab locks. So if you get this down, feel free to get creative and try out new ways to combo. Honestly, the Ice Climbers are one of the characters in Ultimate that have the highest skill ceiling, in my opinion. But now that you know how to do the combo and how to desync off of a grab, let's go over the ways that you can desync in neutral. So, one of the most common and easy ways to desync in neutral is to use the landing lag of an aerial. You can technically do this with any aerial, but personally I find neutral air to be the easiest for me. Simply short hop, and then the moment before you're about to touch the ground, press A to input a neutral air. Then immediately input a special, like down B, and if done correctly, you'll be able to do alternate moves between Nana and Popo. This is pretty easy to pull off, you just want to make sure that you input the neutral air right before you're about to land, 
otherwise the desync won't start. But the nice thing is, once you do get them desynced, they'll stay desynced as long as you continue to input moves, and you can control them independently. You can do things like blizzard with one character and spinning with another, or blizzard with one and using ice blocks with the other. Or you can even approach opponents by alternating blizzards and jumping as you before you press down B. This way you can jump into the opponent with blizzards active. This can be super effective for ledge trapping or for destroying an opponent's shield. If you're having trouble with the landing lag desync, there's another desync that you can do that's arguably even easier. You can start this desync with a down smash into a dash and then alternate moves just like before. So the way that you want to do this is you want to input a down smash and then at the very end of the lag of the down smash you want to dash forward and that will make Popo dash in one direction and Nana dash in the other direction. Then just use a special with Popo and you can start alternating your attacks once again. Next up we're going to talk about how you can get one ice climber on the top platform of a stage and the other on a bottom platform, which allows for some super ridiculous tricks and shenanigans. There's a few different ways that you can set this up, but I find one of the most reliable is to stand near the edge of a platform and then use down air so that Nana stays on the top but Popo goes down to the bottom. Once you do this, you can move around as long as you're making sure you only are walking and not dashing. If you start to dash, Nana will come down from the top platform to follow Popo, but as long as you press the stick gently to move, you can attack independently from both platforms at the same time. And then, like you see here, you can combine this with a lag cancel desync and attack um, alternately with a desync from the platform. Here are the inputs so you can try it out yourself. It's actually very easy to do, but the only tricky part is getting the right spacing on the edge of the platform so that you can separate Nana and Popo. This is an amazing trick for ledge trapping, and it overall can intimidate opponents greatly. Both Blizzard and Charge Forward Smashes are some of the best options you can use for the ledge traps. You can also set up this trick with an up B, it's just a little bit slower. All you have to do is up B, and then have Popo fast fall through the platform, but then let go of the control stick when Nana lands. I'm actually pretty new to desyncs, and even though it's insanely fun to do in training mode, I found it pretty difficult to pull it off practically in real battles against other players. In the heat of battle I found myself messing up the tricks quite a lot, but I decided to share with you guys just a few hi highlights of what I was able to do. If you have any questions about what was shown in the video, or you need some help, I'm happy to answer you in the comments section. But like I said again, I'm not an expert on Ice Climbers desync. But if it's something I can't answer, I'll make sure to give you guys a reply. I'm definitely interested in pushing my desync skills further, and if you guys are interested, in a follow-up video to learn more desyncs, let me know in the comments if that's something that interests you. If you learned something new from this tutorial, or found it entertaining, leaving a like would help me out a lot. I've already posted quite a few smash guides on this channel, and plan to come out with more in the future, so subscribe so you won't miss anything. Thank you guys so much for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.